All the articles basically state that this really isn't that big of an epidemic and that it doesn't really do that much to your body and that it's just a very easy, quick cure. A couple weeks of antibiotics and you're good to go. Obviously those people haven't actually seen what it does. Pain, pain, pain. Relentless pain. No one would believe it. I said to my best friend, I said, look at me right now. Look at me. What do I look like? And he said, you look great. I said, you cannot imagine the pain in my body right now. My case was sort of cut and dry. A, I was a park ranger. B, I knew exactly when I was bitten and I saved the tick and brought it to my doctor. C, I had a red rash. And D, I had a rather classic case of neurological Lyme disease with all the usual trimmings. But I brought all that to the doctors and it took five doctors to figure it out. I don't think you're sick. I don't think there's anything wrong with you. Everybody's telling you it's in your head. You know it's not in your head. We don't think there's anything wrong with you. There is nothing wrong. We've done your, your labs. Your labs are fine. You're fine. There's no medicine for someone like you. You're an attractive girl, and obviously, you don't feel like you're getting enough attention. I mean, it's frustrating to hear doctor after doctor after doctor say either A, Lyme doesn't exist, or Lyme doesn't do this, or, you know, well, what you're experiencing isn't Lyme. It's almost like they've been trained or programmed that this is what they're supposed to say. It's really madness, you know, there's something wrong. I don't hear it any other disease, never heard it in my life. So there's something funny. I, I don't know what that something funny is. Attorney General Blumenthal of Connecticut has taken the historic move of starting an investigation into the panel members who wrote the Infectious Diseases Society of America Lyme Treatment Guidelines. He believes that they have conflicts that may be corrupting their advice. Our investigation concerns whether the antitrust laws have been violated purposefully or not by these guidelines. They may restrict consumer choice with tremendous implications, not only for patient care, but also the economics of insurance coverage. I'm angry at the fact that there's nobody there to help me. I'm angry at the fact that this disease is being ignored. I'm angry at the fact that there's a Hippocratic oath out there that these doctors are supposed to heal me, and they ignored me. And they put a price on my life which was nothing. Nobody was there to help me. And instead, they blamed it on me by saying it was all in my head. I said to my mom, you know, it would be okay with me if I didn't wake up this time. I said, God, take me home tonight. It was not even a request, it was a demand. What's gonna happen to me? What's gonna happen to me? I don't wanna die. I am scared. I'm very sad, um, cause I don't know what to do. I'm going downhill, gradually down, 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 down. The worst part is knowing that you're just not a normal person.